I was going through my DMs and I saw a video that I meant to get to um, maybe about a week or so ago, but I said, you know what, this is a great video because it proves a point in the area of policing here in America. Now we have stated many times before that the police are trained in different ways to deal with different groups of people, not all the same. Now when it comes to African Americans, Anytime they even flinch wrong, they pull out a gun and kill black folk. But when it's a white person, they go the extra mile to make sure they do not just pull out their gun and kill a white person. Case in point, this video. Now this from the Cape Coral Police Department is a body cam footage out of Florida. I want you to watch this video. And in your mind, I want you to think, could a African American person get away with what you're going to see this woman do in the video and what point in the video would they pull out the gun to actually shoot this woman if this woman was a black woman. Let's roll the clip. No, 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 no. Put the rock down. Put it down. Mr. Down. I can throw left. Go right. Oh, my taser's already down. That's all right. Now, in this video, those cops literally had every right to pull out their gun and shoot her. I'm gonna tell you why. This woman picked up not a small rock, she picked up a little mini boulder and she flung it at that one police officer. Now, when she threw it at that one police officer, if that bold little mini boulder would have connected in his head, it could have put him in a coma and minimum knock him out or kill him if she would have connected with him. Now they shot the taser, you saw that. They did everything they could to make sure they didn't pull out that gun and kill this woman. Now, I don't have an issue with police officers doing everything they can not to kill someone. They try to do every level of force they can before lethal force. But that's not the same way they are with black people. And we know this, male or female. If this were a black woman in this video, first and foremost, when she would have went to even grab that little mini boulder, she'd have been shot. You know this. If she would have gotten her hand and raised it up, she'd have been shot. She wouldn't have had a, got a chance to fling it at the police. We know this. Black people are killed unarmed, not even fighting with the police officers. I've done a few stories showing how white folks will fight with police officers and they will not treat them the exact same way they treat black people. Then they come out and say, well, the police, they need training and you know, it's a training issue. It is not a training issue. It's not because if it was a training issue, the way they treat black people, they will treat everybody. Everybody will be the same. Anybody that look flinch, they will shoot them, et cetera, right? It, but how is it that I've seen video after video after video of white people getting into the police and then they don't kill them? Why is that? Even when they're being attacked. There's another video that came out, and I'm gonna cover that one tomorrow, where it's another white guy. He's literally fighting police. He's beating police and he stole their car. So, and nobody pulled out a gun to shoot him. Nobody at all. So the many videos I've seen outside of just the one we saw today and then the one I'll show you guys tomorrow, they know exactly what they're doing. This is why you have white supremacists go to the police departments because they can get away with killing black people and they know the majority of people in this society, especially in their community, is not going to raise hell about it. A few may say, hey, it's wrong and you shouldn't be, you know, killing people like that. 
but it's not the majority that feels that way. When anytime they kill a black person, they say, well, they did that to themselves. They should obey the cops. You know, if they would obey the cops, then the cops wouldn't have had to shoot them. You know, these blacks are always committing crimes, that sort of thing. But when it's this woman here, you're not going to hear any of that. You're not going to hear it. Like they don't commit crimes. You can break down all the crimes they commit. Just out the FBI statistics. They commit more crimes than black folks do, but they never want to talk about that. Notice that they always talk about, uh, two areas of crime that black people could possibly, and I say this in a, a small way, possibly could have a little bit more of, but they don't talk about all the crimes that they lead in. Cause remember, you know, you got to make the black person, the boogeyman, the boogie woman, right? But when the police officers, they are trained for sure to not kill people in their community. And if they have to do it, it's going to be a thing. They're going to give them ample time. How many times have we seen these school shooters killing folks get arrested? The guy that went shot up the, the, the synagogue killing folks. He got to surrender and turn himself in. Black people can't even flinch and they getting shot. They don't have to go and commit no mass murders. So this is the thing that, and let's ask a question. What's, if you don't say, well, it's not about race. Okay. Not about race people. What's the difference with this woman in this video? We talk, we talk to the not about race people. Let, let's, we're going to talk to them. What's the difference between this woman and all the black people that have been getting killed by police. What's the difference? Oh, I know what you're going to say. Well, those individual cops are better trained and they really, they better train. Why is it? I see all these cops all over the country deal with situations like this and don't pull out their gun. Is it they better, all of them better train all of them? Or is it that maybe it's a green light just to, you know, kill black folks? to say I'm in fear for my life. And I noticed they didn't say nothing about was in fear for their life with this woman, even though she's trying to kill them. And then Florida just passed a law that cops can use the stand your ground law. You know what that's about? That's about when they kill you. So, so you can't get that lawsuit money because cops can use the legal force in time to get good and ready. I mean, they, they trying to figure out all kinds of ways. A lot of black folks are suing to get these millions of dollars. They trying to cut that mess off in the legislative side. I say these people dirty all the way around, but leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this particular video. And you see clearly how they react. The police officers, when it's someone from white, like themselves, so most of the cops are white males, but when it's a black person, they are so quick to kill.